Hey y'all, I'm just I'm Justina, the gorgeous oracle, and I'm back with another reading. This is for air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, for um the collective message, the collective reading for mid September to the end of September. Before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole? Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm uploading videos. Um, so for the messages, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, I have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. I have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Three of Swords. I have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, clarified by the Moon. I have the Page of Swords, and then I have the World, clarified by the Knight of Wands. The Knight, yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse. For the additional messages, I have Date. I have the Runner. I have dragonfly, passion, and paradise. So, um, yeah, let's jump into the reading. I have pretty much everyone out here. I have earth, water, air, and fire. So, yeah, I have everybody out here. I feel that someone is building their confidence. This could be a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or it don't have to be. Um, I feel like somebody is building the courage and the confidence to come forward to you. Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, I just heard can't stand it. This person can't stand that you're doing good without them. That you're looking good, feeling good. That you're happy without them. And I feel that they, they hate it. They can't stand it. I just heard a part. Um, this person wants to be a part of your life in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like this is a person that you separated from. This is a person that had you in a third-party situation. This person had you in a love triangle. I feel like they chose the other person over you. I feel that this person... Make sure you had the short end of the stick. This person definitely fucked over you. I just heard in so many ways. Like this person. I just heard the audacity. So for this person. <laughs> for this person to hurt you the way they did. And I just heard manipulation. This person has the audacity to come forward. They want to come forward. They want to talk to you. And I feel that they want to offer you something, too. It could be an apology, but I feel that it's not genuine. And I'm going to tell you why it's not genuine uh, in a few minutes. Uh, I have the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the moon. And I feel that... Hold on, y'all. Let me check something before I say what I was getting ready to say. So, I have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse clarified by the moon. Um, I feel that this person could have some type of mental issues this person could suffer from um anxiety this person could be losing out on money or opportunities then another message i'm getting this person they want a brand new start with you and that's clarified by the moon. So that's what you don't know. I feel like it's a lot of secrets about this person that you don't know. And I just named a few. This person have some type of mental disorder. They having uh, financial issues. And then on top of that, I just heard by you doing good, it gives them anxiety. It's hurting them that you're doing good. That's another secret. That's what you don't know. 
I feel like this person has been, I just heard studying you. This person could be watching you, studying you. This person is upset that you're doing good without them. So, the reason why I say it's not genuine from this person, this person is stuck in their ways. Uh, let me check something else before I get ready to say. Okay, so this person. The outcome is the world card in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. I feel that when this person comes forward, just be careful because it's going to be the same the same old stupid shit but that happened between y'all. This person, because the world card represents a cycle. When it's upright, that means a new cycle is beginning and that old cycle has ended. According to this, this person feel like y'all have some unfinished business. This person is still on the lookout to like hurt you or get you back. But it, it's stupid because it's like they want you to be hurt or feel some type of hurt because they feel hurt. This person feels like how you're doing good this person since they've been watching you and studying you this person feel like you got money this person feel like you're happy this person feel like you're doing good for yourself and this person wants to come in and like fuck it all up because they want you i just heard misery loves company this person is not fucking happy and i feel like when they come in they're gonna portray like oh i miss you i'm sorry um let's get back together this person could be like taking you out on dates and even trying to spend money on you but yet the money they trying to spend on you they really don't have it because they having financial issues and that's with the the moon card so i feel like this person's gonna come in like they got their shit together and everything is just good copacetic in their life but really it's not okay another message i'm getting this person it's the possibility that this person really wants to work things out with you and to be with you however with this moon card in reverse and a nine of wands in reverse, this person could still be up to their sneaky, old, dirty, bastard ways. This person could still be... How can I say? I'm trying to think of how can I word this. It's a possibility that this person do wants to start over with you, but it's like they have one foot in, in the past and one foot in the future. And what I mean by that is this person could still be, I just heard doing a legal activity. This person could still be in the streets. Um, I just heard sleeping around for money. If this is a female that I'm talking about, air sign, this female could have like tricks or men that gives her money or do for her. And then if this is a male that I'm talking to, this male could be sleeping around with women for money or this person could be like gambling. Um, I just heard bank fraud or some shit. This person didn't like 100% change.
Okay, so I feel that it's a possibility, like in this person, I know this may be kind of weird, but it's like how this person perceiving this situation, they feel that when it comes to you, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, they feel like they change because they not on what they used to be on when they used to deal with you as in putting you in third party situations lying and cheating on you and stuff i feel like this person wants to do right by you but it's weird because how they get money still will have like an effect on you it's like this person actions does affect the people around them, but this person don't see it that way. This person see it like, okay, I'ma separate this this go around, I'ma separate Aquarius Libra Gemini from I just heard multiple personalities. Different personas. I feel like this person live a double life. And from their way of thinking, how they change is to just 100% keep you away from their other life. And their other life consists of like very low vibe and shit like quick money schemes or she a prostitution drugs so I, it's something that this person is still attached to but they don't want Aquarius Libra Gemini to know that they still participate in like the fuckery I feel like this person is some type of con artist but yet, when it comes to you, they it's like they're going to keep you away from the current artist side of them. But when they met you, I feel like the first go around, this person, you seen that this person wasn't trustworthy. This person was a liar, manipulator, cheater, current artist, deception, and all this and that. This person is still attached to that low vibing energy but according to them they're not going to bring that side of them towards you so in their mind they feel like they changed but that's not how that work because like say if this person get jammed up and go to prison or something it still has like a effect it still would be rubbed off on the Aquarius Libra Gemini. Like Aquarius Libra Gemini will be sad like damn the lover, the love of my life or my girlfriend, boyfriend just got jammed up. They had to go to prison for five to five to ten years. It's like a, this person feel like by them separating their street life or their other life from you that you won't be affected by it. But that's not true. I hate the way this person thinks. It's like this person is refusing just to change, as in, get a job or, you know, start your own business, like the, the legal way type shit. It's like this person, I just heard this person is still not trustworthy. It's something off with this person. So, for the additional messages, it, it say dates, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there. I feel like that's why one of the reasons why this person wants to come back into your life. Because they feel like you're dating, you meeting someone new, you got back out there on a dating scene, and they don't like that. It said the runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. I feel like this person is saying like, okay, this time around, 
I'm not going to listen to my ego. I'm going to listen to my heart. I'm going to do what's best for Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I'm not going to run from the relationship. If things get hard, I'm not going to run. I'm not going to leave them hanging. I'm here for the long haul. But this person is showing up as a fucking knight of cups. This person way of thinking is just it's making my head hurt because the way they thinking it, it don't make sense. It's like dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. This reading could be a confirmation that this person is still full of shit. Because it's that be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Or you could be finding out secrets about this person that this person is still involved in like fuck shit, fuckery, people that they don't supposed to be talking to. I feel like you're going to hear something about this. Or it could just be my reading letting, letting you know like, hey, if this person come back in. They still involved with people, places, and things that no longer serve them. It's their passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. This is how this person feels about you. He, he or she feels like y'all have like insane chemistry, something that 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 they never had for nobody before. This person has fun with you. That's another reason why they miss you and want to come forward. And then it's like paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other. I feel that this person we used to make this person happy or this person used to feel good about themselves when you was in their life. <sighs> this person just don't fucking get it. It's like... That's why Aquarius, Libra, Gemini separated from this person. But it, it's like they don't get it. They don't understand. But that's all I have for this reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.